Hey, welcome back to the kitchen here at New Traditions uh, Homestead in Somerset, Indiana. My name is Dan Daniels and uh, we're going to do part two of the Saint Saving video. Part one will be um, available as a link later on in this video. But we're going to take Indiana Red tomato. Uh, this is an heirloom that was started from seeds that were saved from many years ago by our friends uh, Greg and Sally. We're going to take this tomato, or a tomato like this, and get the seeds out of it. So what I did in, last, in the first video was take the Indiana Red, sliced it, and then spooned the fruit out of that and put it into this jar. Then I took this jar and I filled the rest of the jar up with uh, bottled water, which we decided would be better than tap water. I kind of put my spoon inside the jar and, and broke up the pulp as much as I could. I covered it with a lid and then we've just been shaking it periodically whenever we come around. We kept it right, right on the countertop so that we didn't forget about it. I would shake it and make the, which allows the pulp be pulverized and the seeds to separate from that. So, that being said, this being part two, we're going to now try to get the seeds out of this and put the seeds onto a piece of cardboard to um, dry them out. And then we'll go for part three, which will be taking the seeds from the cardboard and putting them into a, a small container, and then freezing them until next uh, next spring when we start our our seeds and our grow under the grow lights. So the, the tools I'm using today are a, a straw that's been cut to a point. Cardboard will be the final resting place for the seeds. A, a plastic colander with some paper towel in inside of it. And hopefully, hopefully this is going to work. So I'm going to take this and pour this into the colander. So if I could, I would get you much closer to this, but all that I'm doing is just going through this liquid with my straw and kind of hunting for seeds. And when I find them, I just scoop them up. Just one at a time, I'm not in a hurry. placing them on the cardboard. Okay, so I've drained a, a really large amount of liquid through this sifter. So what I was planning on doing next was to go ahead and take the paper towel and put this onto this plate. without making a mess. That's the plan. So now I've got more access to the seeds. I can see them easier or more easily. Just, just about done here. It's probably just as exciting as watching paint dry. But for me, it's a big thing because the, just the, the fact that I can grow something next year that um, came directly from a friend's garden. And then if I do this again next year, I will have seeds from the, from the tomato that I started off of Greg and Sally's tomato. And I don't know, that just, that just is, is exciting to me. That whole heirloom idea of, of passing on the heritage, heritage tomatoes, heritage vegetables. Got 62 seeds out of that one tomato. So there's the seeds that we separated. All right, 
right, so I was able to take this huge Indiana red tomato, cut it in half, using a spoon, scoop out the pulp, put the pulp in this jar, fill the jar up, uh, the remaining parts of the jar with water. I used bottled water just because our tap water is not the best. Uh, we set it by our kitchen sink, so every time we came close to the kitchen sink, we would shake the shake the jar and uh, agitate what's inside, and that was that allowed the seeds to separate from the pulp and the pulp to break down. Poured everything, all the contents of the jar, into a, uh, a colander of sorts, and then was able to to separate the, out the seeds. And I've got 62 seeds from that one tomato and these seeds will um, be our tomatoes for next season so thanks for watching hope this uh, encourages you and excites you and stimulates you and uh, inspires you into doing this with with your heirloom uh, tomatoes give it a try thanks for watching lord bless you guys